Hello, so in the last video we learned how to give the user the ability to create new orders and add them to their list of orders or, or to their current order. We now want to give the user the ability to create items for each order. So let's first have like a view items part. This will be a repeating group which uh, shows items. Which items would it show? It would show items of a certain group. So I right click the repeating group and click uh, group elements in a group. And this repeating group will be type order because once it's type order in the repeating group, I can say parent groups orders list of items and reference it. And here I want to be able to show the item name and I copy paste it, it actually understands that order becomes item here. Okay, so I can now see items, but so far the orders have no items. So therefore I would have to create an input and here a workflow to create items. So I copy paste this from over here and paste the workflows. And let's look at the new create button, but call it create uh, item. And this will actually, we wanted to create an item. The input will be input B, so it's adjusted this already. And now we don't want to change the user, but rather we want to change the parent group's order. And what we want to do is the list of items of the parent group's order, we add the item we created to that list of items. And now this group here, a data source is currently empty, so we would not see anything on Bubble. So what we want to do is we want to have a button, for example, called show. And when we click it, we want to show the order we click over here. So we use element actions display data in a group. The group is called the group orders and the data display is the current cells orders. So whatever cell I click in this repeating group, the first cell, then the first order will be shown here. The third cell, the third order will be shown here and I can create items for that order. So let's test that out. So I, here I've got my orders already. If I click show, it'll be here. We can't see anything because milkshake has no items yet. We can now create items for the milkshake, such as banana. And now we see banana here, or such as cucumber and milk. And as soon as I click lots of tea, it will be empty again because tea has no items yet. But if I add black tea, it will be shown. Now if I click milkshake again, I can see that. And this is kind of how we linked the user with orders and the orders with items. Of course now for every group we can add fields to be able to make the app more complex or edit data later on. I'll show you how in the next video.